In this video, we're going to talk about the body count rises, a killer's twisted puzzle. Alrighty then, this is a comic book review of Sam and Twitch, Case Files, issue number four, brought to you by Rated Comics. Let's get to it. So previously in Sam and Twitch, Sam and Twitch are still on the outs. Meanwhile, out in the middle of nowhere, Twitch and his old pal Jim's investigation takes an unexpected twist, catching both detectives off guard. So we see this cornfield and this lady doing laundry and the SWAT team or the police is just ready to come in and swoop in on this house. Now what do we know about this house? Well we're about to find out but this text that we're seeing here is a voice message that Sam is leaving on Twitch that he's pissed, he gets it, he misses him, calling back, what are you doing, don't you care about me, I'm sorry, you know what I mean? So. Law enforcement kicks in the door, they go in, they see that somebody's in the house and they just have to take him out and they do take him out right then and there. Shoot first, ask questions later. So we see this elderly guy and they're being told, his name is Wilbur I believe, you building scarecrows again? I told you, them things don't work and it's referencing the scarecrow, how, the, how Sam and Twitch case files issue number three ended and then Wilbur's like what you jabbering about while he's in a very vulnerable position right now which you know that feels good especially when you do that at the top of the morning oh man I love that you do that before you go to work even though it's paid company time to do it while you're at work I prefer to do it before work that way I feel so fresh and so clean clean but anyways back to the thing over here so law enforcement goes down they look in and see what's down in the basement they see all this guns and cash and you just have to confiscate it or whatever the case may be so they have to grab the cash and they do the thing but Sam Sam is still leaving him a voicemail like call me when you can you know maybe we can talk about things and I know you out in the outdoors and all that because remember in issue number one Sam and Twitch has had a falling out and plus Sam tells you you ain't meant to be out there with all them rednecks so Jim takes off his helmet and you know and this lady sees the scarecrow that this guy was talking about the scarecrow that was left off in the last issue which was pretty haunting so one of Jim's partners comes down the stairs and tells him the boys are waiting for your orders Jim and he puts back on his help and tells him let's clean this mess up and then get the hell up out of here. But that scarecrow that the lady was seeing as Sam concludes his message is the elderly guy or the homeless guy from issue number two when he goes into that van and his eye is missing, the crows are eating it, she screams, she has a panic attack and ugh, that, that's all you can say is just brother ugh, you know? So in this panel right here at the hotel or the motel but no holiday in, Twitch obviously sees Sam Berksmith's call but he brushes his teeth and he makes a phone call and it's to his wife. She picks up the phone and Twitch is like, just call and say hi, see how you're doing, want to hear your voice. I'm doing fine, says his wife. So are the kids. What about you? Well, I'm okay. Got a messy case over here that's kind of snowballing, so right now, don't long how long I'll be. Any guess? Ask his wife. I don't know, maybe two weeks, give or take. Great. And what am I supposed to do, huh? I'm just supposed to wait until this thing ends? Until your case ends? No, says Twitch. What do you mean, no? We've been through this many times, millions of times. You always chose family over your work. Helen, please, we talked about this. You told me to go because I could see you needed a clear head. And I'm getting tired, Max, exhausted of having Sam calling here every two minutes or the kids asking me why you're always working. But most of all, I'm tired of constantly seeing my husband drive himself into the ground for what? Just for what? Tell me what it's for. Is it worth it? And Twitch is like, look, I can walk away from this case. It's not that important. No, you can't. You're committed to it, says Helen. Do what you have to do, but don't worry about me. I'll get over this. I always do. And Twitch is like, okay, Helen, I miss you. I miss you too, but that's most of the problem, I think. I feel a distance between us. Been there for some time, now, and I don't want it. I love you. Just wish things could be better. I love you too, says Twitch. I wish I didn't always have to put you in this pred predicament. So they hang up, and Twitch is just there in his motel room. So Twitch has to go to the scene of the crime, the cornfield, and as news crews are there, he's talking to people there, getting the feel for what happened with the gunfire over this. Twitch is over here like, okay, he's recording on his little recording device, like husband being interviewed right now, he's pretty shook up. Now let's go check on the site. And he sees his buddy Jim. Jim is telling his partner like, hey, keep me abreast. What you find here? Did you find any more drugs? Well, we just found a little bit more cash, but that's all. Well, give me an update in an hour, says Jim. Sorry, Max, says Jim. You know, we're, we're scrambling here. Not used to this much excitement. So they go to the scarecrow body and they're like, Jesus, man, this guy is working hard to get our attention. Any ID yet? No, says Twitch. But what about the farmer's wife, says Joe, over here? Looks like she has suffered a heart attack when she found the scarecrow. So Joe is like, man, poor woman. She runs like a food bank or something. And I say Joe, I meant Jim. So Twitch is like, that's a shame man i mean why are these fields this isn't far from your first writings seems to be some kind of connection don't you think agreed 
killer's trying to tell us something or what? And Twitch is like, hmm. And his new display? He's escalating his sportsmanship and showmanship. He's becoming more confident now, especially looking at all these body parts attaching himself like a Frankenstein style. He seems to be enjoying himself. So Jim is like, Corner said he'll jump on this as soon as he needed. But my concern is I'd rather not make this a freaking habit of collecting bodies. And Twitch is like, this town doesn't deserve this. Those birds, they usually fly as a flock, no? What are you saying? Those birds? You mean the crows, says Jim? No, not really. They're just crows. Why? I think there's more out here. So Twitch walks over and he's like, call your men. So he goes on his recording device and he's like, it's a similar field pattern at Detective Trestle's first homicide scene where the victim's bodies were dismembered. Footprints have been crushed away by some apparent weight instrument. Coroner is assessing the number of DNA variations, trying to determine if any of these body parts found here and on the scarecrow victim belong to prior victims. Hey, Twitch is collecting all that data. So this brother from behind is like, hey, detective, why don't you call it a night? Start up fresh tomorrow. You know, your brain's kind of funky right now, even though it's not, but Twitch is just overworking himself to, you know, for the sake of the case. Let's get something to eat, man. You must be hungry. So they go eat, they have a conversation, and they just show Twitch their appreciation, man. Like, we're glad you're here. Twitch is like, okay, I appreciate that. So the lady tells Twitch, I detect the realist, even though that's who you're talking to. He's not a po, he speaks for all of us, but you mind if we pick your brain for a second? And Twitch is like, fire away. Way. You think there's any evidence or any chance that killer is going to stop on his own? No, I don't, says Switch. In fact, I think it'll get worse. And the only upside of that is he'll eventually make a mistake. They always do. Our job is to make sure that when he does, under no circumstance, does he get a chance to make a second mistake. So we go back to this bar. Remember that lady from issue number three, the one who lost her police husband, her police boyfriend? Well, she's definitely sauced up right now. And the bartender's like, yo, all this protecting a survey and you complaining about your, you losing your husband and the police ain't doing nothing? You gotta go, maybe. You, you're too drunk. Fine. Your whiskey tastes like piss. Forget you anyway. And the police. She goes outside, lets out a little bit of lick of courage right now because she had so much of it. So a hand goes to her face and asks her, do you need a hand, miss? So he gives her a ride to her house and she tells him this is a house and she invites him in. Or actually, no, she doesn't invite him in. He asks, can I come in? And she tells him, I'll be disappointed if you didn't mind shining knight in armor. I'll get us a drink. So he tells her, you're pretty sexy. She's like, I know. He caresses her. Yeah, bro, it's thirsty in more ways than one. That's it, babe. Shh. Don't want to wake up your old man over there. And she opens her eyes and she sees that brother in the shadows. And that is a creepy, creepy image right now. But we get a closer look up and you got to assume that's her boyfriend that she's finally found. He didn't flee to Kentucky. He's right there wearing a sign that says no more hiding. And all she could do is let out a loud scream as we conclude in the body count rises and a killer's twisted puzzle that we have yet to know and yet to discover on Sam and Twitch Case Files issue number four. What you guys think of this comic book? Comment below, let me know. Also, link in description if you wish to add this comic book and or any of our other limited print rated comic exclusives to add to your comic book collection. Support the art, support the industry. Lastly, this video is sponsored by coffee, so if you'd like to buy a boy a cup of coffee, link in description or donate to the Super Thanks. But the greatest compliment you guys can do is by liking this video and subscribing to Rated Comics YouTube channel. Thank you again for watching. Until next time.